Hello there fellow modellers, Steve here. It's a bit nippy up here like, I've got my little heater on. And it's been a, quite a while since I've made a video, it must have been... I think it was before Telford last year. So, this video is basically, it's a, a kit review for a group build that I'm entering and it's the warts and all group build and it's run by Nigel Wells and Mike Campbell. Hi there lads and the the group build is it's set from 1970 to 1999 like into from the Cold War into the hot and it can cover any war around the world from 1970 to 99 you've got a hell of a lot of wars Obviously Vietnam, the Falklands War, the First Gulf War, and there's lots of other wars that's in between little uh, skirmishes in Africa and places like that. But what I'm going to do is, it's going to be the Dussault Berger Super Et on Dar, the French naval attack fighter. And I'm going to do it in the Markins of the Argentine Navy that flew in the Falklands War of 1982 and launched the Exocet missiles that sank HMS Sheffield and the Atlantic Conveyor. I don't think they're... well I don't know whether the Argentines still use this but I don't think the French Navy uses this anymore. They use the, the Raphael now for fighter as well as attack. But it's a quick kit review rather than just put uh, what I've normally did with kit reviews is like either the computer with the date on and a, 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 a scattering of sprues, decals and the instruction sheet. I thought I would do a, a proper kit review. And I've got a few kits that's been on the go, a few group builds. But I'll start off with the... Super head on dark first. I'll have to move my camera about. Up there. Right, where do we go? I hope the light's all right here anyway. So there it is, it's the, it's the hobby bot, no it's not the hobby, it's the Academy 172nd scale Super Edon Dar and as you can see the markings on the cover are of the Argentine Navy. Now I picked this up at Telford about three years ago I think, just something different. Right, God I can't move in here. Right, there you go. Right. So there it is. Right, so what you get is the two fuselage halves. Now I've cut these screws up because the space I put try and put kits in different boxes with other kits. Although I think it was two sprues I think as far as I can remember. A basic I don't think are the raised panel lines but I don't care. So there's the two fuselage halves, there's The front, the top wings, which are the kind of good detail anyway. And there's the bottom half that has the hard points for the missiles and the fuel tanks and the undercarriage. And there is the rear wings and the undercarriage doors. And they look ok. 
here and there's the glass I think you can you can get a choice of I think it's probably either the French the French navy or the Argentine navy they might have different canopies and that is more undercarriage no that's that undercarriage doors I don't know what they are they're the that's the underside of it and there's pretty good detail in the undercarriage beers there and that's where the arresta hook is There's the arrestor hook, the undercarriage legs, the wheels, and the jet engine intake. The jet engine outtake, sorry. There's the pylons, wing pylons for the missiles. And there's the Exocet missile. Now they didn't carry two. They balanced it out. They put a, a drop tank on one wing and an Exocet missile on the other wing. I don't know if the French Navy did that. They might. I think they did, yeah, because I'm looking at the French Navy <laughs> colours now. And that's the drop tank. And you've got a mixture of... There's another... Oh, there's some air... Uh air to air missiles I think I don't know what the they the uh, the French equivalent of the sidewinder I think it's the call the Matra air to air missile it's busy the same sort of thing heat seek small heat seeking and I think there's there's two of them or one of them I'm not sure but overall it's it'll be quite an easy kit and I'll probably start this in the next couple of weeks I've still got a few kits to finish off and I don't want to get clogged up with loads of kits. So we'll put all them back in there. Right, and here's the the deck layers. Just one page. You've got the seat, the joystick, the control panel. There isn't any markings for the control panel, but I'll put some on. At least I don't think there isn't. No, there's not. One, two quite straightforward really oh there they were the there the, uh, the engine intakes those the rest of hook outside wheels and there's the armament I think you've got a choice no you haven't uh, yes you have that there are two the sidewind or the matra they go on the outside and they've got the drop tank there and the exocet there and that's how they go together and there's your map there there's the three now there we have the Morgans the French Navy version it's from 11F from the Clemens, Clemens, pardon me French, <laughs> and the Argentine version which is the second Escadilla, I'm not going to pronounce that, but it's the Command de Aviation Naval Argent, it's the Argentine Naval Aviation, even though it didn't fly well, it originally was bought to fly from their carrier, which in English was translated as the 25th of May. But I'm going to try my Spanish out. It's breaking up the words. It's, it looks like it's Vin, Vin Tecanico de Mayo. That never left port. 
because there was about three or four Royal Navy submarines. The aircraft carrier and a lot, a lot of their destroyers never left port. There was only the General Belgrano, which was sunk by HMS Conqueror. Yes, it's the French version that has the missiles, the anti-air, the air-to-air missiles. The Argentine version doesn't. It just has the fuel tank and the Exocet missile. So it's like a blue-grey on the top, flat-back nose, and it looks like it's white underneath. And there's the colour call-outs, English, white, yellow, red, blue, such and such, it's French, German, Spanish, Italian. Here's the markings. French Navy. Or the Aeronithon. And there's the Argentine Navy. Which was the. Uh, that is the, actually the Argentine flag. It's very colourful on the tail. Then look, what are the. I'm trying to think when it was made. They look pretty good. I'll make a go of them anyway. So that's the entry for that group build that runs from I think it's about six months so I've got plenty of time to do it. So we'll put that back there. Right now what have we got now? This is me entry into Steve Mot Motti's models it's his Israeli Defence Force group build. Hi there, Steve. I was watching one of your videos the other night about yeah, what you're doing for your group build. And this is what I'm doing. And it's the F-15 Eagle. And I'm doing mine, obviously, in Israeli Air Force markings. are there. Now they look a bit, I'll have to, I think I'll have to leave them in in the window. They look a bit yellowy. I'll look about to see if I've got some Star of David's off another kit somewhere. That's all covered in and it's primed. I've got that, I've got to cover that in and I want to do it in a hundred round for the colours. Now I've seen this in loads of magazines and it it looks like a blue. Now I seen this when I went to I think it was the Bolton model show in January. And it's this which is AK and I've never used any AK before, but it's air superiority blue. So that should that should go well with this. I haven't used that, but that's the old Airfix kit, and it went together okay, no problem at all. So that's me entry into that. Now another entry is it's for Martin Lamont's. Hi there, Martin. How you doing? It's he's drop a bomb, and it's got to be a Revel kit, and I'm doing. Guess what? An F-18 Hornet. And I'm doing mine in the markings of... Where is it? The instruction leaflet somewhere. It is... VFA-103 which is the Jolly Rogers Skull and Crossbones. Now I'm hoping to do this. That's all, that's got to be primed. I'm going to do this in, it's in flying mode with a missile firing. 
I've seen this a lot at Shores, and it's basically just the missile with maybe a cocktail stick with cotton wool wrapped around it and it looks like it's uh, the motor's ignited and it's firing it so we'll see how that goes but this was the Revel kit and it's I think that's the FA I think it's the FA18F yes the two seater with the different jet intakes to the normal the actually the A, B, C and D as this is the primary navy fighter at the moment till it gets replaced by that F-35 which I think is a lot of rubbish it's a terrible looking aeroplane but so that's me entering into that I've got to start priming that I've just got some primer today uh, like what else oh this is something that's been going on for about a year and it's the trumpeter Challenger Mark II I've just put a dirt wash over that and it looks black I'm going to put it on a little diorama with a brick wall and a telegraph pole that's been snapped like it's fell down so it's been blew up the communications have been cut and I want to get some air uh, find out about mud to make mud I know you go out of the garden if you want like <laughs> but that's me uh, that's an ongoing project I, I start these and go back to them because I'm not really an armor modeler but I like doing the odd bit of armor so that's that and I put a, a smoke but you can't really see it smoke effect paint on there for the engine I'm quite pleased with how that's turned out. Uh, what else? Oh, now this is what I did for Chance of North Wales. Hi there, Lynn. He's pure flight group build, and I did this, which is an Hawker, a Hawker Sea Fury, as one of the air races in America. And that is a beautiful aircraft. I'm well pleased with how that turned out. I like the lightning flash. That was just some Morgans I picked up at uh, Telford last year. And I modified it a bit. Lovely red colour with a blue nose and a blue cheek line across the top. That was a, it was just a cheap Nova kit, I think it was. But when I trimmed the uh, the canopy down, because that's what they're doing, they sometimes they enlarge the teal, but I left that. Well, it's been going well his group build, he's, he's done a lot of uh, gliders and small trainer aircraft. This is a thing I started last year and it's a, I think it was a, a easy kit and it's a, a Boeing Strattle Cruiser. Now the paint is all done, I've just got to put the markings on. I like building the old airliner. Very nice kit, and that's about it. Yeah, that's it. So we'll go back to sitting down now. model show and I was really disappointed that that cancelled but they've got to take these precautions it was uh, I think it was Ivan who's the northern modeler hi there Ivan he put on that it's cancelled due to Heineken virus which is a, a play on corona now I thought it was just a joke but then 
Ian Poulton put on so the Cosford model show is shut. Oh, and then I read some words and I went on the website and it didn't say it was shut at all. And then I went on another website that's the Shropshire Shrop Models, I think, and it's got the Cosford show has been cancelled. I thought, great. I was looking forward to going there as well because I'd had the I'd booked the hotel room for the night and got the train tickets. So I can get the money back off the hotel because you're allowed, I think, till the 20th of May to cancel it without paying for it. But the train tickets are another story. I'll have to go down to the station to find out if I can get a refund. I'll explain why I was going to Cosford and maybe he's the mate. But you know, there's only one way to find out. But it was going to be really good because I would have met a lot of his. I mean, I think a Stuart Ivory, and that Stuart even says he took a week off work, <laughs> which was a bit of a, a bit of a bummer sort of thing. But you can't help it. They've got to take precautions, and they've stopped. I think there's the rugby stopped, and all the football is off this weekend. So hopefully, it'll peak very quickly and just die down and hopefully nobody has died from it <laughs> but it's got to be done and all this panic buying it's just ridiculous buying loads of toilet roll i don't know what that's for <laughs> does it give you a chronic diarrhea and you've got to go to the toilet all the time i don't know but We'll find, and the next, I think there's a model show before that, which is the one that we always go to, our club. It's the Sword and Lance at Darlington. Now, that's never been mentioned yet, but because it's only a small show, it might be okay. But we'll find out nearer the date. I think that's, I think it's two weeks to day. And it is. And then there's another one in, I think it's what they call the Scottish National Show. That's at the end of April. Whether that's on, the, the disease might have peaked by then. And hopefully it'll, it'll be okay for our own show on the 7th of June. So we'll keep our fingers crossed that it pans out and doesn't, doesn't kill anybody. <laughs> Everybody lives. That's the way to look at it. So, I've been on a lot. I'll probably unload this tomorrow because I'm going to go and get something to eat now and go and phone me mum because I always phone her on Friday night. She'll be saying, oh, where is he? Ten past eight, he hasn't phoned us yet. <laughs> anyway, happy modelling and stay safe and I'll see you on the next video. Bye now.